Hey guys, what's up? This is Eli from Touch Arcade. I'm here with Jared, and we're doing a, a TA Plays first look of Trace 2, which is um, actually already out. How do I get yeah. to the world map? Oh, I scroll over. Um, so what's the history of this game? You you posted about it earlier. Mm -hmm. Well, you remember the first Trace, right? It came out like I mean, way, it was all... way, way back when, right? Yeah, it was like 2008, like a few months after the App Store came out. Um, is when the first trace came along. And uh, it's very similar to how this one is, where you're just a little stick figure dude, and you're running through these really simple-looking levels. But the whole trick is that you're drawing your own platforms. And at the time, that was such a, a neat thing because, you know, touchscreen phones were kind of in their infancy. So being able to, like, draw directly into the game was kind of like a really novel thing at the time. Um, even though there were some Nintendo DS games that did some stuff with that, but... <clears throat> anyway, um, it was also just a fun game. Like the level designs were really good, and uh, lots of clever, you know, hazards to work your way past. So, um, yeah, back in the day, Trace was the business, and then five years later, almost to the day, it came out in like October of 2008. So, coming up on the five-year anniversary of it, they released a sequel, and that's what we're playing right now. And kind of interesting that the definitely like improved graphics, but not like. You know, they, they kept their same style of like, you know, stick figure drawings and kind of like, um, I don't know, simple, simple visuals, I would say. But they look very nice. A lot, a lot improved over the original for sure. Oh, I feel like I'm doing this stupidly. <laughs> We're making this way harder than it needs to be on myself. Yeah, you probably could have just drew some zigzags or something. But anyway, I always liked the original Trace, so I'm kind of stoked to play through the sequel. Um, the, the original got updated today, too, which is pretty cool. Oh, neat. With uh, retina visuals and stuff. Because this is a game that you need retina assets on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> yeah, I remember you're, there was, there was a, a weird time in the App Store where everyone seemingly discovered it once, like, whoa, you can, like, draw lines... On yeah, touch screen yeah. and then you've got like a game <laughs> yeah. it seems weird it's that it doesn't like, like a funky game it doesn't like grade you on the amount of stuff that you use like I feel like you should have like maybe like either a limited amount of this like ink that you're drawing with or yeah. like something because what's what's curious about this is that like back in the day, you know, like this was like the, even the, the, the concept of the game, you know, that like, oh yeah, just, you know, draw, you know, like, don't worry about it. Just draw whatever levels you need or platforms you need to make it to the end. I mean, that was really cool. But now without like, you know, a little something more, this almost feels like really bland. Yeah. I think uh, the first one took a while to really pick up and challenge but um i do see what you mean like this is a, a very different climate than it than when it was in 2008 as far as like the kind of games we've seen and the kind of ideas we've seen so it's not can't live off just its novelty value anymore right but um <clears throat> i have faith that there's there's going to be some decently challenging levels in this game too because the first one really got tricky the longer you played it <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to be able to go up a incline that severe. Oh yeah, kind of cool. Ugh. I missed my window of opportunity. Oh, not doing good. <coughs> See, I use two fingers to uh, erase your lines, if I didn't mention that already. This is dude gonna hit me. Yep. There's <laughs> lots, of, lots of... You have to be really careful with your timing and stuff in this game. Or at least in the first one. 
can start over here. Make it all the way over here. Uh, line up over here. How far does this dumb red bird go? Not that far. Dumb red bird. Alright, cool. And then we'll just do one of these. Oh. Oh yeah, we're golden now. Perfect. Alright, well, I mean I feel like we were kinda of getting the idea here, right? So Yeah, yeah, this is this is the game. Oh, so it is it is actually grading me. It just isn't like Oh, maybe it's time you take. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Yeah, I mean this seems pretty neat. I guess uh you know, if you like the first trace, um, you know, definitely give this one a look. It seems like a, it seems like a good sequel. Although, you know, it, it is it is kind of odd in that like the climate has changed a lot, so it's going to be interesting to see how this does. Although, you know, yeah. people seem to really like stick figure stuff, so I don't know. <laughs> True. I guess we'll see.